um, this is Sachin. So uh, basically in this short video tutorial we will just go through um, to deploy some of the software components which are like um, very frequently used on our daily to daily um, development. So <coughs> the idea behind is like uh, most of the time when we have to run uh, some sample applications um, we pretty much get stuck into uh, deploying some of the software components like Kafka, Nginx, Postgres, Redis. Uh, Debezim is not, uh, it is WIP, so in this tutorial I'm not going to cover that, but pretty much the rest of the things we are, we are going to cover it up. So um, I'll share all these links in this description uh, for this video, so let's get it started. Alright, um, so <coughs> once you check out um, this code, pretty much you will see your um, all these, um, you know, source code in your IDE. Uh, Alright. So just go to any directory, I'm in my temp directory and which is pretty much empty and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just clone this code. Alright, so um, get clone. Okay, alright, I'll go to this directory and um, this basically the only prerequisite to run is you must have a docker running in your system. Uh, which is already running in my system docker uh, docker desktop is running so once you have docker there's pretty much nothing else you need it to run these things um, so I'm gonna just see watch all my containers this is a small commands you can use to basically um, just run a docker ps in every four seconds so I pretty much pretty much know that which all containers are running so I'm just running it and keeping it below a little bit all right now um, none of the containers is running and my plan is to basically let's say I have to run my nginx so if I go to my uh, local host okay there's nothing over here so it's as simple as that checking out your project and just go to if you have to run let's say nginx um, pretty much you just see <coughs> you have to every project has like this run command uh, which you can just blindly run it and that component will be up and running in your system so for example in nginx i will just run this um, i'll just go inside the directory nginx and dot slash run dot sh that's it and you watch okay um so this is primarily for mac i'm gonna put some support for linux as well but for for now currently it is for mac uh this uh, modifies your um your host file and that's why it is asking for a pseudo password i'm gonna give my password and basically the only thing it does is basically it takes your current ip address and put a alias name for your local machine so this entry it makes and that's why it asks for this password now once everything is set which hardly a matter of seconds um you will see that nginx is running and um your website is now available at this alias name so if you just refresh it you will see that now the content is rendered because your nginx server is up and running uh, better than localhost basically it's good it's good to give an alias name so it just keeps your commands handy you can take these commands and hit in your browser um, the another good part is sometimes it 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 takes a little time to basically run your nginx in in a in a secure mode basically via HTTPS uh, and that support is also here um, my Chrome will block this so I'm gonna open my Firefox and copy paste this command so of course it asks this generates a, a local certificate uh, I'll just go through that what what that means is but you can go to advanced accept and basically your content is rendered here just go pretty much and go here um, so basically um, if you go to content data POC this is the folder basically it it renders it if you just say my testing and just save it and refresh your page your content will be um, okay <laughs> my bad so this is my main location I have checked out into um, a different location so cd uh, run nginx uh, cd infra slash run nginx and then go to uh, content data poc folder to and vi to dot text uh, 
shift A, this is my testing one, two, three. Let's mm. save that content and refresh the page. All right. This runs your Nginx. Um, pretty much um, all other components are more or less same. So I'm gonna run my Postgres. So this is the place we have uh, checked out our content. I'm gonna say cd run Postgres. Postgres. And if you see, okay, let me do it in this window so you can watch here. Okay, so this is my Nginx container is running. I'm just gonna leave that and go to Postgres. Um, again, um, it takes some image up. You don't have to worry about too much. You can always go through that. Uh, the idea behind is just check out the project, run these scripts so that your component is up and ready. Run postgres.sh dot slash enter. And you will see the Postgres container is up and running here, uh, which is listening on 5432 port. And um, um, okay it takes a little while maybe a couple of 10 15 seconds and now your postgres is up and running and whatever you have given in your initial scripts so um, just initial script I, I just want to drop some functions and create um, some something something um, and into the some of the tables put some records i mean whatever you give um, that script's gonna execute and that's what pretty much logs you can see over here so like app sequence is one of the table or db log is one of the table which which i have created here just some sample test tables um, the good part is uh, it also logs some of the commands which you can use to directly you don't have to scratch your head and like you know now my container is running how can i access that component you just see the logs and it will come very handy um, just sorry uh, not all okay it works so copy that control d and you go inside that container so this is the container you went inside now your my db is here and you want to see the list of the databases just put slash back back slash l so this is like your database and if you want to see the tables just put backslash t so app sequence and db lock um, you can see you can just select star from uh, db lock for example and uh, whatever we have put inside, um, such in one, one A, A, B, C, all this, you will see that values coming over here. So this is quickly up and running uh, your Postgres. So Nginx is done, Postgres is done. Redis, I'm not gonna cover it, same thing. Let's quickly cover the Elasticsearch in Kafka. So pretty much same, um, dot, dot, slash, run Elasticsearch, and then dot, slash, run, dot, sh. So you'll see the Elasticsearch single node container is getting created. It refresh in a few seconds. Created, created. Yes, it is up and running. So it runs both Elasticsearch as well as Kibana. If uh, the images is not in your local system, first time it will basically download that Docker image and then bring it up. So as usual, like any other component, you just look at the locks. Um, and if you want to see um, what nodes because it's a single node, so you're gonna just see one node and what indices, um, basically you can see all that. So let's quickly see the first part, which is like my node. So this is one of the nodes. So basically this container name F0CCA, um, F0CCA. And similarly, um, if you want to see what indices, so by default, because I just ran the Kibana container, so that indices will come over here. If you want to access Kibana, um, okay, it's not in the log, but pretty much, 5601 is the default port for Kibana and you are up and running for Kibana. All right, uh, now that covers Elasticsearch. Now let's quickly go to the final and one of my favorite is Kafka. All right, okay, one more thing. Let's say somebody um, wants to run the multi node and, and like, you know, by default, multi node is false. Um, if your requirement is that you want to um, set the multi node just make it true so which means it goes to other part of it and um, uh, basically it will use the compose file and it will run your three node cluster i'm not gonna cover it right now you try out yourself um, keeping reverting it back now the final thing is kafka again uh, kafka by default um, i'm running into um, 
four node cluster the first three node is like one two and three is the kafka server and the fourth one is a zookeeper again you don't have to go into too much of details if you want feel free to go to these scripts but pretty much idea remains same go to that directory um i'm gonna go to slash run kafka and um, dot slash run kafka dot sh and okay let me clear this off okay all right so now it will start four new nodes here just wait for a few seconds it is actually creating these three containers the zookeeper is done yes server one two three all three done all right i put some logs <coughs> sorry and it has given all these commands so that you don't have to again scratch your head that how to access and how to use um, these containers now what it does uh, it also creates some topics for us so i'm just creating test topic one and test topic two with a little uh, different in flavor like my topic one is just a normal topic with uh, one partition and one uh, replication factor um, however for my test topic two um, it's a small variation i want to have a three partition count so partition zero one and two and the same you can see in the script as well so um, this is like create sample records and then the partition count is three and uh, once it does i'm just describing my uh, partition two one and two both so basically this is the log um, you can see which is the output from uh, these commands all right uh, now it's a time to test it whether our um, deployment is successful correct or not so as usual just look at these commands so this is a producer command um, so I'm gonna split the screens into two and on the left side I'm gonna run a producer again you don't have to think too much my topic has already um, okay if it has not been created probably it will create this topic so on the left side I'm putting a console producer so here I can produce some messages and on the right side just copy paste don't have to think too much and run your consumer all right so my first message okay second one third one and so on okay you see all these messages are coming here which means our uh, kafka cluster is running successfully so um all right so that's uh, pretty much so i hope that project will come very handy to you and you can um if you are working on your development and basically um, if you need these components it's a matter of just seconds to check out this project and uh, run these scripts all right um thank you